Okay, and here we are on the first of the series RL circuit videos. This one we are going to cover calculations in a series resistive inductive circuit. So the first place that you have to start is you need all of your components to have ohmic values. Right now, only R1 has an ohmic value of 7,000 ohms. So we will need to convert the two inductors into ohmic values. And we use the inductive reactance formula, which takes 2 pi multiplied by frequency and then multiplied by inductance. We throw all of our numbers in there for this particular component, 2 pi times 30,000, which is our frequency, times 36 milli, which is our Henry's, and we get a total ohmic value for L1 of 6.78 K ohms. And then we do the same process over on L2. We look for inductive reactants of L2, and we put in our pieces, which are 2 pi times 30,000 times 22 milli, and we get an ohmic value for L2 of 4.15 K ohms. All right, so likes can be added together in series. We only have one resistor, so it's obvious that total resistance will be 7K, but we will add our two inductive reactances together to get total inductive reactants. And so we add those two values and we get a total inductive reactance of 10.93K ohms. Now that we have that, we look for impedance, which when you have multiple components in a circuit, impedance is the way to combine them. And in a series circuit, we use the square root of the squared. And so you would take, you would square your total resistance and you would square your inductive reactants, add those two together and take the square root of them. So if I put my numbers in there, I get a value of 12.98 k ohms, which is the total ohmic value for this circuit. Once I have that total ohmic value, I can take Ohm's law and use voltage divided by that ohmic value to get total current. So I take my 20 divided by my 12.98 k ohms and I get a total current for this circuit of 1.54 milliamps. The final thing we're going to do is look at our voltage drops for our individual components. So resistance, of course, we take the ohmic value of our resistor, multiply it by total current, that's 7,000, multiplied by 1.54 milli, and I get a voltage of 10.78 volts. I do the same thing for um, the voltage for L1. I take the ohmic value of L1, which is inductive reactance, and multiply it by current, and I take, and it's 6.78 K multiplied by 1.54 milli, and I get a voltage of 10.44 volts. I do the same for L2. I take the ohmic value of L2, multiply by total current, 4.15K, multiplied by 1.54 milli, and I see a voltage on L2 of 6.39 volts. Now you will notice here that you cannot simply add these values together to get total voltage like you could before. Now, you will combine like voltages together and then do the square root of the squared again. So it will be similar to your series Z formula. You would take your uh, 10.78 volts and square it and then add it to your total inductive reactants, which is, looks like um, 16.8 three volts, square that, and then you would take the combination of those two and square root it, and that would give you your total voltage. So remember, you cannot just add all of these things together. You must, you can only add like components, and then if you're trying to verify your numbers to get total voltage, you're going to take um, the square root of the squared again. All right, I hope this was informative. We will pick it up with faults in series RL circuits.